ब्लैक उससे ऑन लो ना तो तो सी टुडे इज़ द टॉपिक अबाउट डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन अ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स सो व्हाट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ सेक्सुअल ओके द ह्यूमन मेल एंड द फीमेल विल बी कंट्रोल्ड सो हियर इन दिस सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन देर आर सम स्टेप्स ओके लेट अस सी सी डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन अ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स हाउ मेनी इज गोइंग टू हैपन Uh, sexual is nothing but it is happened in the male and the female mainly so what the males are producing male is producing sperm this sperm is coming from where from the male so that we are seeing it as a male gamete what is the structure of male gamete this is called the male gamete coming to female what the female is producing it is producing ovum this ovum is also called as female gamete because this ovum is coming from the fetus okay the female gamete is a structure like this when this male gamete and the female gamete is coming that is for what that is for the fertilization so here i will say you the act the definition of the fertilization fertilization means what what is a fertilization or different fertilization then we should answer that fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization okay fusion and culture fusion of what male gamete and female gamete that is called what fertilization so male gamete what he is producing he is producing a sperm and female gamete what he is producing ovum so sperm plus ovum is equal to what what is going to be uh, done zygote so where the zygote is going to be formed in the female's body okay next again this zygote is divided to produce large number of cells because our body is having a number of cells that all the cells are coming in this zygote okay see the structure of zygote is this okay see when you are observing zygote is having only one cell here coming to the second stage it is divided into two in the same way continuously it will divide into a number of cells so that i am saying here zygote divides to produce large number of cells so after completion of producing a large number of cells what you get at last it is going to develop into an embryo okay the structure of the embryo is this so again this embryo is again developed into a baby okay after that the development is going to be continuous and the process will be continuous and this process is going to be done to form a baby again the baby is going to be born again the baby will grow into a child and a young one so when it is happening a young after the adult again what the person will happen if it is a male or the female male is going to produce sperm and it is called as a male gamete and female is going to produce ovum that is called the female gamete so i think it's a clear explanation of sexual reproduction so mainly how to uh, remember that male is producing sperm female is producing ovum fertilization is what the male and the female gametes when it is fusion then that is called as a fertilization so when the sperm and ovum is coming together that is called as what zygote okay and after zygote formation what will happen it is again produces large number of cells when the large number of cells are formed what happens it is again develops into an embryo that embryo again it is going to develop into a baby and the baby will be continue like that and the god child is going to be come okay that child again to a adult again the adults are going to produce so this is a continuous process it's a very simple topic if you once read up this you will get the nice marks okay i think you all understood what the uh, flow chart is happening here